A well, six by two axle is not a new idea. Instead of having two driving axles on the truck, one axle drives the truck. I think there's no disagreement that a six by two system is more fuel efficient. It's really a question of how do you make it work for your fleet. Six by two technology is really one of those uh, steps forward that the EPA is looking for as part of the greenhouse gas two or the second regulation to really help improve fuel economy. We find that 6x2 axle configurations confer about a 2.5% fuel efficiency gain. 6x2s reduce maintenance costs, they definitely reduce the truck weight which can allow you to put more and heavier cargo in your truck while still meeting weight restrictions. There are some technologies that we found in our work that shifts the load to the drive axle in a, in a situation where it's beginning to get stuck. The automatic weight transfer systems will ensure that the weight is evenly distributed among the wheels. There is a small increase in tire wear, we're trying to understand that more deeply, uh, but the fuel savings offset the uh, tire wear uh, rather significantly. It certainly seems that the drive towards 6x2 has stalled out a bit. Um, the early adopting fleets may not have taken into consideration the entire system that needs to be thought about when it comes to specking 6x2s. 6x2 axles cost a little bit more up front, and there are some concerns around the industry since this isn't the most common configuration on trucks right now, that a truck with a 6x2 will have a lower resale value. The fleets that seem to be more successful doing it are, are at, at the moment, a little bit smaller fleets, and they have the advantage of maybe single sourcing their vehicles from one OEM, and that helps them really get the spec right. There have been several fleets that we've spoken to that actually have higher towing costs when it comes to 6x4s, um, and that really points to the idea that on the margin, maybe a 6x4 is a little bit better, but truly, as an effective operating principle, to say that a 6x4 is giving you better traction is not borne out by the data in terms of towing costs. In recent years, we've seen some new developments on 6x2 axles, actually some variations that limit some of these challenges that we have traditionally seen. One case are liftables. The dead axle actually gets lifted off the ground when the weight doesn't require that it's there. The feedback we're getting on liftable 6x2s uh, is increased traction when the unloaded state. Uh, with the axle in the air, there's more load on the drive axle and it's much more maneuverable in parking lots, backing under trailers, and things like that. In addition, uh, when driving around as a 4x2, the vehicle handling is excellent. There's less drag in between the, the drive tires, and uh, we're seeing some fuel economy benefits as a result. Well, the one thing with the Volvo Adaptive Loading product is that we've actually taken a 6x2 configuration, it's typically always been a tag axle, and rearranged it and put a lift, a lift axle in front of it, or a pusher axle in the front. And what this solution does is it provides a two-truck configuration when it's in operation. When it's loaded, the axle's down, it operates as a 6x4, but when a truck is lightly loaded or lo unloaded, it becomes a 4x2. The design was for fuel efficiency, but an added benefit was a traction control. Liftables are an emerging technology, so they're really not available in wide scale right now. They're available on a couple of trucks and a couple of OEMs, but that's beginning to get the industry to learn their benefits, their consequences. Um, there are generation two and three products that will come out over the next few years that will drastically improve the performance of these liftables.